In this lesson, we'll look at two ways of deleting all the data in a table. We've already seen how to delete selected records using delete from and the table name where column equals or where column like or where column not like or any search pattern like that. And if we omit the where clause entirely from a delete query, all the records in the table will be deleted. So do take care with this. As I said, when they're gone, they're gone. Let's try that on the items table. Delete from items. And we have a look inside and all the records have gone. There's a trick with this though. The table is not quite as thoroughly cleared as it might look. Try adding a new record by typing an insert into query. Insert into items parentheses item name comma item price values parentheses asus sound card comma 55 press go and you'll see that the item id is not one but 11 that's one bigger than the biggest item id number which was there before i deleted the records so delete does not reset the auto incrementing id number this will continue from the largest number that was in the table before the records were deleted normally this isn't a problem as it doesn't matter what the system id number is all that matters is that each one's unique but sometimes we really want to clear out the table completely so that the auto incrementing id is reset and starts again at one as it would in a brand new table the command to completely clear the table is truncate table table name. And this will clear the previously stored auto incrementing ID numbers. Run this and again the table is empty. And insert a new record again, the same as before. And you can see that this time the ID number is 1. So the table's been completely emptied and the auto incrementing index has been reset. We've seen how to delete data now. Next, we'll see how to delete a complete table from the database.